Hey all. Uh, can I go with this guitar arrangement? I, I think there is a guitar strumming underneath the piano parts. I'm the recording of it. But this is my interpretation of the of a uh, guitar part of the chords. Um, I don't know the names of all of them, so I'm going to call things by things that I know uh, by the capo. So it's it's really F sharp, you know. But I'm doing it as an F major seven to start. So it starts. To, uh, So that's uh, F major 7, and I foot the high E open. And then B string at the 3rd fret. A minor. A minor, A minor 7. Okay, then this next one. It might be easier for you to play without the E or A strings at all. And just play uh, all... D, G, B, E at 3, and then B goes down 1, and then back to F major 7. If you want to do the thumb over the top and mute the A, you can do that. And then back to the beginning. So that's just the piano intro. Now is when the vocal starts. Same thing, and then A minor. Same thing so far. Then C minor. C minor, C minor, C minor 7, and then, I don't know what it is, but it's a D7 with the D at the first fret, D string at the first fret, and then D off. Again, you're at that G minor 7. Down one on the B string. So that's an F, and then the B string goes up one, so now you got to finger it differently. Index finger on the high E at the first fret, and then G and B at the second fret, and then pinky on the D at the third. That's a weird beatle -y type chord, but you got to do it that way. And the next one is an F with the B at the third, so like F6. Or, you know, B flat. But we'll call it F6. That's the, that's the hardest chord change in the whole tune, if you can get that. This, this tune's a piece of cake. <laughs> right? E suspend the G. E chord suspend the G to the second fret. Do, 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 do. A to A minor 7. A to A minor 7. C minor 7 to D7. But if he really does exist, why did he just. You know, back to that G major 7. B string down one. Down in my, in my hour of need. A minor 7, I truly am indeed. Right? And then back to D7. And then G minor 7, and then B string down one. And back to this. Major seven again. So if I can remember that, let's go through those one at a time. Starting with the intro. I'll slow it down. That was the piano intro. Here's the vocal. the whatever that 
modulation is for the middle A part. So that's uh, what? That'll be G, that's A flat. That's uh, E flat. D sharp. So you take a D, move it up a fret. Now you gotta cover the D string at one, two, three, four, five with your pinky. So. G minor 7 to C right so that that part goes So it's a, a C, but the G string's down one. What do they do? G minor 7 to C. Go back again. I think that's that's the whole thing, and the only thing is different at the very end when it gets to and it repeats A minor, right? A minor seven to D seven, and lower again, naturally, <laughs> it ends on that. So that's the only thing different at the very end. It, it turns it back around to do one more of these. So the turn around is A seven to. A minor 7 to a D7. And you end on that major 7. That's it. Good luck.